This video was made by Mohamed Amin Ganjabi and narrated by Nidu Faris Kandari from Hyper Lyceum team. We're here with you with another SimuFact tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about Brazing Simulation and SimuFact software. This is a two-part video and in this part, we'll teach you the basic usage of the SimuFact welding GUI with an example of how to set up the brazing process. For the table of contents, we have an introduction, basics, setting up the parameters in the software, simulation, and the results. To start off, we need to create a new project, then choose the folder path to save the data. The next screen is where you prepare your simulation. There you can adjust the number of parameters in this window. You may need to enter a brief description of your project in the dialog section for recording your simulation process. However, this doesn't have any effect on your simulation. We import the component in the next step, which we will use to set the boundary conditions and loading on it. If you require to import more components, under the catalog area, you can right-click on the geometry to insert more parts. Eventually, after finishing the model, which is shown here, we can execute it. You can see that the boundary conditions and loading has been defined and it is ready for the next step. In the results section, I will explain the results and show you some of the outputs. Now we can move on to the modeling in SimuFact software. First, we create a new project with the name Brazing. We set the process type as Brazing. The ambient temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. We don't select the gravity here and we set the number of components as follows. Next, right-click on Geometry, then Import. We'll use the following components, and if you're interested, you can download them from our website, hyperlyceum.com. After selecting these two files, the following window will appear. The imported geometry will appear in the object catalog. To assign this geometry to the process, drag and drop Sheet Curve to Component 2 and Sheet Straight to Component 1 under the process tree. In case you need a special material, you could input the data manually which is straightforward due to the helpful graphical process. In this tutorial, we'll use S. 23SPMSW for the components and CUSW as the filler material. Right click on the material section and then we import both of them as shown here. Please drag and drop S23SPMSW on both components and also CUSW on the robot. To create the first bearing, we need to change the view to the bottom by clicking on the icon on top. Next, we select the bearing under the process tree. Then we put data as shown here. We change the unit to millimeter and adjust the settings. Next, right-click on Bearing, Object Manipulation, and Translation. Again, we change the unit and change the values as shown here.
Okay, now change the view by clicking on this icon and define the second bearing like the first one. To define the two missing clamps, we follow the same approach we use for bearing. So, we right click on clamping, generate geometry, and next we input data. These graphical settings are very user friendly and help to improve the modeling speed significantly. Now we move on to the second clamp. As you can see, by changing the value, the clamp has been updated. The clamps will apply a force on the plate to keep them from moving during the brazing process. To define the force, we can click on the clamping to change the behavior to stiffness and force. We set the value of 100 newtons. We change the direction to manual and change the value. We do the same for the second clamp. In the process tree, we right-click on fixing, generate geometry, and change the value as follows. Again, you can see the change in the component by updating the values. Up to now, we've created all the fixture and boundary conditions and we'll finish the model in the next video. See you soon for the next one. Bye! This video was made by Amin Ganjabi. To find his contact information and updated resume, please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com. Amin is an expert in Simufact, Caesar, PDMS, and some other engineering software. To plan an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email address under Amin's profile. The cost of projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We are looking forward to working with you.